it is Ivory Coast 2, Guinea Bissau 0. Ivory Coast collecting their three points in this year's African Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast in our home turf. Yes, Les Elephants has collected those three points, what was needed. Even though today's game wasn't too exciting, but the most important thing is to get the goals, get the three points, and start your campaign with a W. And Ivory Coast did that really well today. You know, I wouldn't say it was the best of footballs at the time coming from Guinea Bissau's type team, but they did cause a threat. But Ivory Coast as well did look good in certain phases of the game, especially going forward, especially breaking through the midfield. Even in the pressing, we did extremely well. And I'm proud of my team for that as well. We just waiting for the next game, which is Nigeria. But we're going to talk about that. That's going to be another day. But we're going to focus about today's game. And that was against Guinea-Bissau. Overall, first half, I thought we was good, you know. Our wingers were really involved. Jeremy Boga, Bamba as well, causing problems on the, in the width as well. Stretching teams. And especially for Fana. The first goal coming from Ivory Coast so early. Seko for Fana as well sorting out his feet and then rifling it in the top corner as well to make it 1-0 for Ivory Coast. I've got to say, for fun, I, I love him. You know, he's a, he's a fan favourite for me as well, man. He's, he really is a favourite. He gives it all, you know, and he drives through that midfield and he's just absolutely important for us in that midfield as, as uh, with Frank Kessie as well and Sangare, you know. But he got that goal. 1-0 to the SLF we were just like, thank you, thank you to making it 1-0. But Ivory Coast as well, when they were pressing, we pressed so well. The boys did well in, in phases of the game. It's just that we could have finished a couple of chances. Even our goalkeeper looked good. Second half was 1-0 halftime. We was win were winning. We are thinking, yes, let's get that second goal. And Ivory Coast did what they had to do. They went to the second half. And got the second goal because the elephant, the tree trunking, was tree trunking. Was hmm, we got the second goal and the second goal coming from, of course, Grosso. Gro it was a, it was a gross goal, bruv. Because the guy had to sort himself out. He sort his feet out, you know, a couple of kickups, and then to just finish it acrobatically as well to make it to you know, boy, oh boy, that goalkeeper of Guinea Bissau. I don't think he's that good, but he could have done better. But Grosso making it. 2-0 for Ivory Coast, and Ivory Coast settling themselves, doing well as well, getting that win, which was so important. The boys, I'm happy. I'm happy with the boys getting the, the win, getting two goals as well. They could have made it three goals, but it is what it is, you know. Ivory Coast winning two goals to nil. I can't ask for anything better than that, guys. Player-wise, today, I have to look at Frank Kessie. Frank Kessie had a quiet game, but he had an effective game, you know. Passing the ball, keeping it moving, ticking. But again, he's playing at a level where it's not as, as intense as it's supposed to be. And then coming back to this country, playing in an intense game, in you know, intense weather. I'm very sure he's used to Saudi Arabia's weather as well. But I thought he could have done a little better. Sangare, the man in that midfield, driving, collecting the ball from deep, making passes, switching flanks, switching plays. Ah! Him and Sek Fofana as well, Seko Fofana did extremely well. Diamande, my guy! The new 19, to actually 20-year-old centre-back, I should say, playing for Sporting Lisbon, Lisbon, you know. Ah, this guy is good, you know. But Ndike, Ndika, man, you're quite a victory, man. What is wrong with you, man? You're a Roma defender, and I hope Jose Mourinho taught you all how to defend. But you cost us an opportunity that we could, we could have been a man down... Or conceded a goal, but I, I would say he did okay as well. Jeremy Boga and Bamba did their thing, tormenting Guinea Bissau's defense the whole entire 90 minutes, especially Jeremy Boga. Big up to him, you know. Man, I'm actually there, guys. I have to say, I'm gonna have to give it to my guy, Seko Fofana. Big up to Seko Fofana as well, man. Got the goal, you know, dark skinned brother with white teeth, you know. I can't believe it. Got the goal as well and, of course, set up everything for us. And he was very vital in that midfield, man. Brilliant. My Vura fans, you let me know what you thought of today's game in the comments as well. Let me know who your man the match is. Let me know who your donkey the match is. This has been your match reaction from your boy, Alvura and Spice. It is what it is. I'm looking forward to the next game and it is Nigeria. You know, we got to beat the Nigerians. we got to beat the super egos. The, the elephants... Needs to stamp on those egos, you know? You know, grab them by the tree, by our trunks. Mm, grab them and dash them. 
You know what I mean? But it is what it is, guys. Till next time, catch me tomorrow, 10 past 4, Manchester United vs Tottenham, Hot Spurs, watch along. Make sure you subscribe to Red United TV, share across the social media platforms. Remember to keep it united and remember to keep Red United, Bob. Let's have fun. Let's keep on going. Au revoir, gagne. Au revoir, gagne.